I've never seen this in my life. The car goes up the escalator. And so do we. How far is that? Really? I've never been to a Target in Seattle. Interesting. Seattle is Washington's largest city and it sits on the Puget Sound in the Pacific Hello. Northwest. It's surrounded by water, mountains, and evergreen forests and thousands of acres of parkland. It's home to the large tech industry with Microsoft and Amazon headquartered in its metropolitan area. The Futuristic Space Needle, a 1962 World's Fair legacy, is the most iconic landmark. Located in the city center, it's 605 feet tall with an observation deck and a rotating restaurant. Pike Place Market is considered the soul of Seattle. It's a nine-acre historic district of one-of-the-kind shops, iconic landmarks, housing, social services for locals. In the 1960s, the market was a target for urban renewal and extensive demolition. In 1964, the Friends of the Market organization was established to advocate for preserving the market and protecting it from being destroyed. The Friends undertook the citywide campaign to keep the market. This initiative preserved the largest continuous operating public market in the nation and protected not only the market complex, but the community of farmers, small independent businesses, and the low-income and elderly residents. The Pike Place Starbucks store, the original Starbucks, is the first Starbucks store established in 1971 right across the street from the entrance of the Pike's Place Market. The store has kept its early appearance over time due to its historic significance. We took a boat trip from Pier 54 on the Seattle waterfront to the Ballard Lock, aka the boat elevator. The lock transitions the boat from the salt water of the Pugent Sound with the fresh water of Lake Union and Lake Washington. This boat cruise is a fully narrated tour and explains how the vessel rises or lowers due to the ever-changing tides of the Pugent Sound. The Lake Washington Ship Canal connects the lake with the Pugent Sound via Lake Union. The Army Corps of Engineers controls the water levels of the lake by manipulating the water flow at the Ballard Locks. This was a really cool tour and it only cost 47 US dollars. Totally worth it. Hey there everybody, this is your bartender again. Uh, just want to let you know, uh, we are now on the fresh water and we are doing a uh, fresh water special. So in addition to the $5 canned beers we've got, we've also got a dollar off all of our draft beers. So we passed the floating homes community and saw the famous house where the movie Sleepless in Seattle was filmed. Legal houseboats in Seattle are a rarity, and according to the city, there will never be more than 215 of them. State legislation approved in 2014 protected houseboats that were already on the water, and the city had to abide by those protections. Seattle is also the home of the Divers Institute of Technology, which is one of the two commercial dive sites in the U.S. Seattle is a beautiful, beautiful city. There's so much to do there. It's definitely some place you should visit if you come to the U.S. Hey, check out our merch store with our logo and cool travel designs. All of our clothes are made with 100% cotton or organic cotton. All colors and sizes. Tees, tanks, hoodies, and more. Along with accessories like mugs, glasses, cell phone cases, and masks. Please support our channel and get some cool merch. Store link in the description. Thank you.